hello how to simplify this nice math problem without using calculator 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901 you want to simplify this nice math problem without using calculator please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel solution Then here is 9 to the power of 901 and this is 9 to the power of 900. This can be written as 9 to the power of 900 minus this 9 to the power of 901 can be written as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. Take note of this that if you have a to the power of m plus n this is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. Then this can be written as 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 900 multiplied by 9 to the power of 1. Now, if you look at this, 9 to the power of 900 is common. Let's bring it out. Here we have 9 to the power of 900. If you divide this by this, we have 1 minus. If you divide this by this, we have 9 to the power of 1. Then this is 9 to the power of 900 bracket. 1 minus 9 because 9 to the power of 1 is 9 then this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 bracket 1 minus 9 that is minus 8 then this can be written as minus we have 9 to the power of 900 multiplied by 8 now this can be written as minus 9 can be written as 3 square to the power of 900 multiplied by this 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3. Take note of this that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m this is equal to a to the power of m n then this can be written as we have minus 3 to the power of 9, 2 multiplied by 900 that is 1800 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 Therefore, 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901 is equal to minus of 3 to the power of 1800 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3. This is the answer. Then we can also try this. Let's try this. If you have 2 to the power of 99 minus 2 to the power of 98, what is the answer? 2 to the power of 99, and this is 2 to the power of 98. This can be written as 2 to the power of 98 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 98. Then 2 to the power of 98 is common. This is 2 to the power of 98 from that exponential rule multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 98. That is from here, a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. We can see that 2 to the power of 98 is common. This is 
2 to the power of 98 bracket if you divide this by this we have 2 to the power of 1 minus if you divide this by this we have 1 then this is equal to 2 to the power of 98 bracket 2 to the power of 1 is 2 minus 1 then this is equal to 2 to the power of 98 bracket 2 minus 1 this is 1 then this is equal to 2 to the power of 98 and this is the answer therefore 2 to the power of 99 minus 2 to the power of 98 is equal to 2 to the power of 98 we may also try this 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99 minus 2 to the power of 98 is equal to what we can see that we have 98 99 and 100 this can be written as 2 to the power of 98 plus 2 minus this can be written as 2 to the power of 98 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 98 then if you have a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n then this can be written as 2 to the power of 98 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 98 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 98 8 then this is 2 to the power of 98 is common let's bring it out bracket if you divide this by this we have 2 to the power of 2 minus here if you divide this by this we have 2 to the power of 1 minus if you divide this by this we have 1 this is equal to we have 2 to the power of 98 8 bracket 2 squared that is 4 minus 2 to the power of 1 is 2 minus 1 then equal to 2 to the power of 98 bracket here is 4 minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3 and this is equal to 2 to the power of 98 8 bracket 4 minus 3 that is 1 then if you multiply 2 to the power of 98 by 1 we have 2 to the power of 98 therefore 2 to the power of 100 minus 2 to the power of 99 minus 2 to the power of 98 is equal to 2 to the power of 98 i hope you've gotten you I hope you understand this step very well. Then let's solve this, which is the last one. And in this case, we are going to make use of two methods. Now, let's see. If you have 200 square minus 199 square, what is the answer? Now, we are going to solve this in two ways. Let's consider the first method. Let's call this first method. This 200 square can be written as 199 plus 1 square minus 199 square. Now, this is in the form of A plus B square, which is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. And here, A is equal to 199, B equal to 1. So this is 199 square plus 2 multiplied by 199 multiplied by 1 plus 1 square minus 199 square now this is so this is equal to 
199 square plus 2 multiplied by 199 multiplied by 1 mm, that is 398 plus 1 square that is 1 minus 199 square this we cancel this then 398 plus 1 this is equal to 399 and this is the final answer therefore therefore 200 square minus 199 square is equal to 399 without using calculator then let's consider the second method let's call this second method We have the given problem 200 square minus 199 square. Then if you look at this, this is in the form of perfect square. That is, if you have A square minus B square, this is equal to A plus B bracket A minus B. Then where A is equal to 200 b is equal to 199 then this can be written as 200 plus 199 bracket 200 minus 199 then this is equal to 200 plus 199 that is 3 99 bracket 200 minus 199 this is 1 then 399 multiplied by 1 this is equal to 399 and this is the final answer i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel bye